Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing one of my favorite subjects and that is a rainy day scene. It's been a while since the last time I painted something like this. I think um, maybe uh, half a year already ago. So today I decided to paint um, a rainy day painting and I'll be linking down in the description box below the link to the reference image that we'll be using for today's tutorial and now let me introduce to you the colors that we'll be using for today's rainy day scene so we have burnt sienna cadmium yellow or mead yellow black and titanium white we will also be using some tiny bit of um phthalo blue so let's begin now as you can see, my canvas has already been um, painted with a brownie color and you can also see some bumps. I don't know if you can, but uh, there are some bumps in here because this is a painted over canvas that I painted back in 2017. I don't really like this anymore. This is no longer my style. So I decided to paint over it and reuse it for tutorial purposes. Now let's move on to underpainting the rainy day scene i'll be using a huge brush for this one because we will be doing some abstractish type of uh, background in view of the blurry effect of a glass window when it's raining i hope you're you're getting what i'm saying guys so for the background i'll be using some white okay titanium white and some black to make it a little gray okay Maybe add more white, it's too gray. And then I'm going to add a tiny bit of blue, tiny bit, and yellow to make it a little greenish color. And I'm not really completely mixing the colors. I just want um, those three colors to be present when I started, when I start underpainting it. So let's begin now. You know, I really don't mind going up and down, vertical, horizontal, diagonal, because it will be painted over later. So I really don't mind. We're just here to do some underpainting. And you can refer to the reference image that I've linked down in the, the description box below so that you can actually see where this painting is going and where I'm starting. All right, so I left some spaces with that color. Now let's move on to getting some black. Get some black. Right here. This is really abstract-ish, so it will make sense later. Once we start doing the raindrops, it will make sense later for now. Let's just first understand the colors um, that are present in the reference image. All right, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of blue right here, right here. And as always, I'm just Mm, tempted to use my fingers to make it more blended, you know? Okay, I'll be using... Actually, you can do whatever background you want, but I'm using a reference image. And if you want to depart from the reference image, that's all right. You can do that as well. But I'm trying to teach you um skills right i'm not trying to uh involve you in my imagination because i really don't paint um 
what they call this. I really don't paint imaginary things. So you can see now the blending happening, right? So I'm gonna use some brown right here. And of course, I'm just blending it using my fingers. All right. I'm blending it. You know, it's actually raining now where I am so I think this is just perfect for this type of painting okay that's basically it look at how abstract -ish it is if you want you can stop right here <laughs> but I really don't recommend doing that because you know that's not the goal so I'm gonna get a new brush I'm just gonna dab on to some yellow Push your push out. I'm gonna get some light brown right here. So the background, these are like buildings or whatever that you see when you're looking out the window. So it could really be anything, you know? Depends on how you see it. like to add some hints of brown and hints of yellows you know try to kind of blend it using your fingers or if you don't want to touch your paints it's all right you can use your brush all right like that and then I'm gonna allow this first to dry because it's too wet for me to actually layer it. So again, for now, it's not making sense, but later it will, I promise you guys, just trust me. So I'm gonna get my hair dryer and let the paint dry a bit. But of course, I would like to mix a bit, I mean to blend a bit. Okay, like so. This is a good abstract fish. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not fish. <laughs> abstract piece, I mean. <laughs> so I'm gonna try it now. white okay I'm gonna use another brush I'm gonna get my white and let's go back to some areas because some areas need to be more light than the others because this is a light source
Pinks of yellows. All right, like that. Let me just move it right here. So I'm making it more abstract. Okay, now let's begin um, what the glazing. Let's begin glazing the the background. You know, when we're done with the background, we will proceed with the flower, which will be right here in the middle. So I'm gonna get my gray color again. We're not using pure white. I'm using white and then tiny bit of black to make some gray color and I'm gonna add water so that I can glaze using some gray color without over painting, over painting, uh, painting over. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this one just to like lightly, like ever so slightly glazing my canvas. And then like that. And then I'm gonna go back to some areas, darkening it again. Good abstract piece. So I'm literally using my fingers. <laughs> I'm literally using my fingers in actually painting this one. <laughs> because uh, I'm just like that. I don't mind, you know, getting paints all over my body. <laughs> Just like that. So we're getting a little more blurry now, which is good. We're trying to achieve that. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, sketch the flower, but we have to dry it first so that I can actually layer.
Okay, now we're going to do the flower. And for sketching or for sketching purposes, I'm just gonna use my paint straight away. I don't have to use any chalk or pencil or anything like that. We can use our pencil, um, our brush straight away. So for the underpainting, I'm just gonna use my cadmium yellow and white so that it becomes more visible. All right, I'm just mixing them. Okay, and I'm adding a tiny bit of black just to tone down the yellowness of this color. Okay, like this. Okay, and for the flower, I'm just gonna go and paint it straight away. This is sketching, so you don't have to worry too much. Right. Okay, I think I have to make this quite long. like so and of course just to make it quite evenly distributed I'm just gonna use my my favorite tool <laughs> my fingers <laughs> okay. so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of brown actually I should have gotten my orange color but I think I will later so just use some brownie colors right here. All right, like that. For the underpainting, wash your brush out. I'm just gonna make it quite long. And then I'm gonna make the right side quite light. I mean, lighter than the left side because the light source is also um, coming from this side or the right side is being hit by the light. So just add white to your existing yellow. Like that. We're just under painting, guys. This is not yet the final look of it. All right. So I'm gonna get again my yellow, and I'm just gonna start dabbing on some yellow um, pollens. Okay. 
right here. So I'm just using the tip of my brush. All right, now I'm going to mix some brown and black to add some depth. So get your brown and get your black. Let's add some depth right here. I think that's too black. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of brown. Okay. And we will be adding some orangey colors later. For now, let's just allow the paint to dry. Okay, now let's do some, like the stock, uh, what do you call that? the handle of the flower so i'm gonna to create yellow uh, i mean green i'm just gonna mix my yellow and black if you haven't already you know you can actually achieve the yellow the green color by mixing some black and yellow all right like this and maybe add more black you can add a tiny bit of blue it's green oxide when you mix blue yellow and black so this color I'll be using to make some to make some uh, green or to create some green and, and then you can let this down like so like that then we're going to create some depth All right, for the depth, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of brown and black. Right here. like that and then I'm gonna wash my brush out I'm gonna get my yellow get your yellow let's lighten this a bit gonna clean all right like that I'm gonna get my pure yellow actually it's quite still wet so actually I can dry them
as you can see, or as you just saw, I was painting it while I was drying it because I was trying to kind of clean the edges while it's drying. Yeah. So I'm going to add some greeny colors right here. To make some more dimension it's not really green green but because of the absence of light it makes the yellow a bit greenish And I'm gonna dab on some light yellows to create some highlights. Okay, I think I have to get my orange now, so wait guys. Okay, so I have my orange now. I'm going to use some dark orange colors here. Like that. Okay, like that. And I'm going to mix some yellow plus a bit of orange. Okay, just to maybe add white. Just to make it more orangey along the edges. And I'm going to get my pure white. And let's just highlight this area. I 
I'm removing uh, it's being hard line. I don't want to create super hard line. I just want to highlight it. Doing some light yellow right here. Like that. Okay, I should brush out. I'm gonna get my white. I really want to highlight the petals. Okay, now let's proceed to making some raindrops because actually that's the most exciting part i think that's the most challenging at the same time that's the most most fun part so for the water water droplets we'll be using a lot of white some gray and mm, maybe some hints of uh all the colors that you see just hints not too much of it just to be consistent with the wholeness of the subject so for the water drops, I'm just going to get some white and black to create some gray color. And we'll be using a lot of water. Don't be scared of using water when you're painting. It, doesn't, it will not ruin your canvas. Right, so let's begin now. So we're going to make some watery marks right here. Like that. like that again add a lot of water so that you really really create that rainy uh, effect and we're going to over overlap okay you can use you can do this randomly but I kind of like the you know the the runny waters I kind of like it because uh, more than those tiny droplets they look like weird um, weird stuff <laughs> weird stuff right. just continue again we're using water down gray Again, overlap, guys. Overlap. I'll be using a lot of water. You can also use some dots or tiny blobs like that. You can do some thin ones, you can do some fat ones, and some short uh, droplets, you can do whatever you want. And next step we'll be using some black to go with it.
All right. So before we go back to doing this, because I'm getting a little um, bored, <laughs> I think I need to switch the color now so that I can, you know, recharge. I don't know if you're like that as well, but I'm like that. I easily get bored when I do repetitive um, um, brush strokes. So I'm going to use my black now so that I don't get bored. <laughs> and again, we'll be using watered down black. Make sure that your black is quite strong. Right? Okay, so now we're going to water down and we're going to go just along those watered down gray that we already have. Just like that. And I'm going to create some slightly light black. Not too, not too gray, not too white. No, I'm using pure black. So this is quite repetitive. If you don't have that patience to do this, it's all right. You can uh, pass. Uh, you can fast forward uh, the video. It's all right.
And we're going to make some splatters later. I'm really like taking my time. I'm really taking my time because you know it's all repetitive, but I really don't want to um, get it all messed up. Okay, now let's switch to white, pure white. So I think I already ran out of pure white. I'm just gonna get pure white. And I wonder how, all right, so we're getting there guys, we're getting there. So using my pure white, I'm just gonna go around again some areas. also make making some dots as if you know there's some sort of splatters Right now, I think I have to make some splatter. So I'm gonna use two brushes for this one. I'm gonna use my white. And when you do this, make sure that you're okay to having some of your things get painted on. And then I'm switching to black right away. And I'm gonna use some watered down black. Like that. I'm gonna allow this first to dry, but first, while waiting for it to dry, I think I have to wipe. You know, good thing these are tiles, so I really don't have to worry cleaning about cleaning them after they get splattered on. Later, after this painting, I'll be cleaning <laughs> some areas that got painted on. All right. Okay. So I'll be waiting for this to dry. And I think I'll be using my hair dryer just to make things quite faster.
to get some gray color. Gray. And I'm gonna glaze some areas right here because we kind of want them to be quite blurry. And let's create some more. This is definitely repetition. Okay, I'm going to make some short brush strokes. Using some white and gray color. Just short. We don't want it like all long. Right. You see that? I just used my orange. I'm 
I just use my orange when in fact I don't need the orange Again, I'm just splattering like huge blobs of water because when the water dries, you're going to see the effect. I'm going to, to dab on some brown randomly on the background and then some yellow some sort of blue I'm going to get again my pure white
lightening this part, the upper portion. So basically we're blurring the background out. Alright. I think I need more white. Some sort of bokeh, you know, those bokeh lights. Some get some orangey colors right here. These are just bokeh uh, effect. I hope you're still following. And then I'm going to make some more um, raindrops. So we did a lot of like um, raindrops and some techniques as well.
Okay, so I'm gonna gray some areas. I'm going to get some light yellow. The light yellow will be applied right here to highlight the flower. Like that.
Right. Okay, I'm gonna dry now. Okay, and for the last step, I'm just going to lighten some areas, especially up here. Randomly applying some white. here All right, this is nice, right? Okay, I think I have to sign this now. We spent a longer um, tutorial time for this one, but I think that was worth it. So I'm gonna sign this now. I'm just gonna use my black and sign it here. Okay, I think we're done. We're done guys and I hope you enjoyed this one, my rainy day painting. And if you like this one, share this with your friends, give this a thumbs up and comment in the comment section below what you think of this painting or if you've painted along with me. See you in my next video. Mm -hmm.